Now to the Netherlands, and the party of far-right populist Kat Wilders is set to emerge as the largest force after elections there. Early results point to his Freedom Party winning 35 percent, or rather, excuse me, 35 of the 150 seats in Parliament. Many other parties have ruled out working with Wilders and his party. The big winner of the night. Geert Wilders celebrated coming top of the polls with his supporters. A result that even he wasn't expecting. That it would be that huge was indeed also surprising uh, for me, but, uh, but, but, but a very uh, pleasant uh, result, of course. Uh, by far uh, the uh, largest party in the, in the Dutch uh, political establishment. So I'm very proud. Um, um, with, at the same time, it uh, comes with a lot of responsibility. Um, people expect our agenda of hope, uh, tougher asylum and immigration policy, the people uh, having, getting more money to pay for their utilities and, and, and groceries. A veteran of Dutch politics, Wilders and his far-right Freedom Party call for a ban on mosques and the Quran in the Netherlands and promise to get tough on immigration. Wilders also promised a controversial referendum on the country's EU membership, dubbed Nexit. This anti-EU stance has voters of opposition parties worried about Wilders' resurgence in popularity. And my view is that he has no stature in, in, uh, in, in Brussels, in Europe, and he cannot work together with other prime ministers in Europe. So it would be a disaster for the Netherlands if he would be uh, the prime minister. Despite the win, Wilders will have a tough time to secure the job of prime minister. He would need to form a coalition to secure the parliamentary majority he would need to govern. And so far, most of the other parties have ruled out joining him in government. DW's Lucia Schulten was in The Hague following the Dutch elections and told us more on why the Netherlands has drifted to the right. Yeah, this, is a, this is a bit difficult to say, but it seems that his topics, which were basically the Netherlands for the, the Dutch people first, um, also his stance against migration, he's been calling out, uh, or he's been saying he wants a complete stop of asylum seekers, and also he's been mixing this um, with another problem the Netherlands is having, which is a housing crisis, and he's been like putting this together and been saying that, you know, if there would be less asylum seekers, there would be more housing and the Netherlands should be for the Dutch people first. And this seemed to have convinced these people that voted for him. So um, there, is a, there is a push to the right, but the country has also been before governed by a liberal conservative right party. So it's not a complete surprise that there's, there's a bit uh, but then the, ex the extreme of it is probably uh, a strong push, but that the country is heading more to the right, that wasn't a complete surprise.